We finally get to go book shopping? Come with us! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a come shop with me and a book haul. So work has been kind of rough for me and my wife decided to uh, surprise me with going out and getting some books. So you're going to come with us, see what we get, and then we're going to show you the books. Any books that we mention and talk about, or well I'll say purchase because we'll probably talk about some and not get them, but they will be linked down below. Don't forget to check those out, and without further ado, let's get started. Let's go! Alright y'all, vlog takeover. Zach has had a really stressful week at work, so I told him to meet me here, and I'm gonna surprise him and buy some books for him, and we'll do a shop with me and a haul for what we get. Guess what? What? I'm gonna buy you some books today. Woo! Excited? Uh, yeah. And we're gonna excited. film a haul, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Why, would, why wouldn't we film a haul? That would be weird. All right, change and we'll go film our little shop with me. When was the last time we were here? Oh, it was like beginning of the queue for sure. To the horror section we go. <laughs> Not a good one. <laughs> I like that cover of it though. This is coming in a vlog soon. What? What are you thinking? Uh, it's been a while since we've been here, so I'm just kind of seeing what's new, what's here. Look at this really weird, like, small version of Dreamcatcher. Take this out of the stand. It's really tiny. It's freezing in here. Oh, this is one I wanted to get. A Salem's Lot. There's a ton of Dean films. Alright guys, we are in the Stephen King section and it's been a while since I've been here so I'm going to be getting some, some Buka Bukas. Thumbnail. <laughs> there it is. Some cool little selections there. None of those are Stephen King so I don't care about that show. Some gems in here maybe. Ooh, we've got a cool looking paperback skeleton crew with a monkey on the spine. So that's a that's a keeper. Uh, what else did I see? Oh. This isn't King, but the shuddering, Anya Elborn. Uh, we have a book by her. What is that one called? The Devil Crept In is the one we have. The wifey says this is a good one, so. We'll see if uh, we'll see if we can enjoy it as well. So that's uh, that's two buka bukas for me so far. It's gonna keep searching. What else are you finding? Okay, we're sitting on two books so far. Um, 
cool with the sales lot for two bucks. That is cool. I saw a copy of Eyes of the Dragon that I really like. That looks cool. That's two bucks as well. Yeah, I like that one a lot. You can set it off to the side. Yeah, you can put what it. is this? Night Child. I've never heard of it. You'll have to open up your Goodreads and see if it's a good one. Even if it's not, it looks cool. I know, right? It'll look good on the shelf. <laughs> looks like it was a library. Yeah, I kind of like it, though. There is stuff. a lot of kings here. But there's way more Dean Coons. He comes in second. Oh, stop. Are you sure that you have the terror? I thought I did. I really now, don't think you do. I think you don't. Do you guys see some good gems here that you would pick up? A lot of demon keys. Demon keys? Some Dr. Sid. Alright, so this is the haul. This is what we're leaving with. We're going to film it when we get home, so stay tuned. Next stop is Barnes & Noble. Yep. So let's get to it. Next stop, ladies and gentlemen. That guy's cool. So we have House of Liz. I haven't heard much about it, but Danielle says it's good. It's so you got Parasite, Darcy Coates, and other Darcy Coates. Ghost tree. The wifey says that's a good one. And then we have the living dead. This one just looks really cool. Don't know much about it besides that. And that's that on there. Either of these in paperback form. It actually looks pretty cool. The truck has got like a line and everything in it. Nice. <laughs> Going down. Read the cover of it. That cover looks really cool. Oh, this one. I don't know if only it was in 20 bucks.
All right, guys, we just got some booga boogas. And now we're going to show you what we got. Starting with half price books. Uh, this is typically where I get a fair amount of my books because they got some hidden gems in there. And so I'm going to show you what we got. First up is not a book, but since I've been kind of going with like clown stuff lately and I'm a fan of Marvel, I got a clown Deadpool, which is pretty cool. Uh, and no, it's not a banana in his hand. I thought it was a banana when we got it, but I went and found out that it is a balloon animal. He's got a balloon animal, and then he's also got like a green sword as well. I'm not going to unbox it in this, this little clip we have here. I'm just going to show it to you. So, next up is Skeleton Crew by Stephen King in the original old looking kind of paperback version. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. You got the monkey on there. Uh, this is not one that I have read. Not all the stories. I've not read every story in this in this uh, short story collection. I've read a few of them. The Mist was really good. The Raft and the Monkey. Uh, those are the three I've read. I also read something about a tiger in a bathroom, and I thought that was like really weird. But otherwise, I've not read all of these, and someday I will. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do a vlog on it. Skeleton Crew. Stay tuned for that one. Woo. Next up is. The Shuddering by Anya Elborn. Elborn. Uh, I recently did a haul uh, a little bit ago where I got another one from her. And so I figured I'd get another one and read them both and let you know what I think. So, The Shuddering. Otherwise, I don't really know how much about this one. I love one. the cover. cover looks really cool, though. Next up, we got The Terror by Dan Simmons. I've heard a lot about this book uh, being really good. It's also an AMC original series, but I heard a lot about this book being really good, really creepy, and just like, like kind of scary, and so I figured I'd get it and maybe do a vlog on it. We'll, you know, give it a read and I'll let you know what I think. It seems to be a pretty thick book, so. The Terror. Next on our haul is the paperback version of The Institute. So I f this finally came out earlier this month, and I knew that it was out, but I just, I couldn't, like I said, we haven't really gone out to go and get books lately, so. Now I've got the paperback version. I've got the second most up-to-date book from him in paperback form. Uh, if it bleeds, I'm sure it's probably going to come out next year, but yeah, the Institute paperback. It's pretty awesome. Next up in the haul is One by One by Ruth Ware. I don't know a whole lot about this, but I think Danielle and I are going to do a buddy read on this. Uh, she's read a book by her, I think, and uh, she enjoyed it. So The Turn of the Key. Yes, The Turn of the Key. So we'll probably give this a buddy read, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll vlog it. Let us know down in the comments if uh, you want to see us do a buddy vlog. It'd be pretty cool. So one by one, Ruth Ware. And last from Half Price Books is... End of Watch by Stephen King. So, I know what you're thinking. Zach, you already own this in a hardcover. Well, the answer is yes, I do, but I don't have this version. So, I have it in the Bill Hodges box set where it gives you all three books in one, and the binds kind of give you like a smiley face. Well, the original ones do not have that smiley face. And so, I decided I'm going to start getting the other ones. So, I started with End of Watch because the HPB at our house happened to have it. Uh... If we ever mention HPB, it's Half Price Books. That's just kind of my wife and I's lingo. Just gonna say that. So, end of watch. Stephen King, Bill Hodges, the final book. The next place we went, and I guess the final place we went is Barnes and Noble. And the first book from there is Parasite by Darcy Coates. So I've got quite a few Darcy Coates books, but I just have not read them. And I remember back earlier this year, I saw this on like a prepaid, like you can like pre-order it. And I read the synopsis, so it's got to deal with like space. So like space horror, like yes please. And so I ordered it and then we canceled it and I just waited for it to come out and it just recently came out I think. And so 
I figured I'd get it and read about a horror story in space. I mean, haunted houses are nice, but sometimes you got to go into orbit for some horror. So, Parasite, Darcy Coates. Next up from Barnes & Noble is The Ghost Tree by Christina Henry. So, I remember when we were at the store, I read the synopsis on the back, and I was really intrigued with this. And Paul Tremblay says, A true page-turner, unflinching in presenting its supernatural and everyday horrors. So, it's kind of like a supernatural horror. I think it's set in, like, the 21st century, so, like, present day. And it just sounded really interesting to me. And so, maybe I'll do a reading vlog on some of these books I pulled out, and ones I'm not really knowing of. And so, we'll give them a read and let you know. So, the ghost tree. All right, next up is We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. Look at that cover. That cover looks really cool. It's like Rolling Stones. So, we've read two other books by Grady Hendrix. Uh, we read My Best Friend's Exorcism, which kind of looked like a VHS tape. And then we also read Horror Store, which is kind of like a uh, catalog uh, for like, a, Ikea. like, like an Ikea kind of catalog type thing. And so this one looks like a Rolling Stones cover, like a mag magazine cover. And if I had to guess, it'd be about probably some heavy people who sell their souls and a bunch of stuff probably goes wrong. I actually did not read the synopsis, so I'm really guessing in that. So if I'm right, cool. Yeah, but look at the cover, man. Well, yeah, it's like... It even gives you, a like... A cover by, for sure. It, like, even gives you, like, the little side things. Like, you'd hear, like, stories like... So and so did this in rock history. Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat, whatever, all that fun stuff. So, but yeah, we sold our souls. It looks like a really cool book, and we'll give this a read, and we'll let you know what we think. Next up is the Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I read the back of this, and it's about like a girl who goes to like clean out her grandmother's house, and she like finds a bunch of weird stuff. Uh, I forget if it's in, like, an attic or something like that. But a bunch of weird stuff starts happening. She finds a bunch of weird items and things kind of start going bump in the night. And so that sounded really interesting to me. And so there's also, like, a picture of, like, a cabin in the woods. And those, obviously, are going to be interesting for me. So The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. The last book that we got from Barnes & Noble to end our little haul is The Remaking by Clay McLeod Chapman. Uh, I believe I said that right. Sorry, Clay. Um, the blurb on the front was another one that kind of got me. They said something like Stephen King's imperfect masterpiece, The Shining. So if it's got anything to do with Stephen King, obviously I'm going to get it. Uh, I read the back, and it's a mom and a daughter back in like the 1930s uh, get... Uh, the mom gets accused of like witchcraft and so she gets like burnt at the stake with her daughter But then when they bury the bodies the mom just kind of gets like a regular burial, but the daughter gets like real special treatment so it's like Why is that was the daughter the actual witch or? Or what so that sounded in interesting to me and like 30 years later or something like that um, something happens to where like the daughter like comes back or somebody wants to bring the daughter back or something like that so obviously we're going to give this a read and we are going to let the you cover. we are definitely going to let you know what we think the, these woods whisper oh, i didn't even see that in the front cool so the remaking uh yeah let us know in the comments if you want us to do like a vlog surrounding like some of these like unknown books and we'll we'll pull them all in one or we'll do them separate or Whatever, just let us know in the comment section down below if you want us to do some reading vlogs on some of these cover buys, I'll say. And like I said, remember to check the links. We'll have them posted down below so you can check them out yourself if you want. But yeah, so that is the Half Price Books, Barnes & Noble, Come Shop With Us book call. Uh, which cover did you like? Which book was your favorite? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.